We're hearing from President Biden right now as he is about to sign the bill. Let's listen in. And I mean so many Americans. A decision is uh, implemented by states. My administration is going to focus on how they administer it and whether or not they violate other laws, like deciding to not allow people to cross state lines to get public health services. And uh, we're going to take actions to protect women's rights and reproductive health. This morning, though, I'm here, we're here, to, uh, on a critical issue, gun violence. You know, uh, I'm about to sign into law bipartisan safety legis gun safety legislation, <clears throat> and time is of the essence. Lives will be saved. When we return from Europe, Jill and I will be hosting an event in the White House on July 11th to mark this, this historic achievement with members who voted for these families and the families who, in fact, were victimized by the gun shooting that we've seen. This so, so, I, I, so, so incredible. We've seen so much of it of, of late. And, uh, and advocates have worked really hard to do something about it. I've been at this work for a long, long time. And I know how hard it is. And I know what it takes to get it done. It was there. I was there 30 years ago, the last time this nation passed meaningful gun safety laws. And I'm here today for the most significant law to be passed since then, since the last 30 years. I'd like to thank the leaders and members of the House and Senate for working together to get this done. I especially want to thank the families, and Jill and I, many of whom we sat with for hours on end across the country. So many we've gotten to know who lost their souls and the, to an epidemic of gun violence. They lost their child, their husband, their wife. Nothing is going to fill that void in their hearts. But they led the way. So other families will not have the experience and the pain and trauma that they had to live through. From Columbine to Sandy Hook to Charleston, Orlando, Las Vegas, Parkland, El Paso, Atlanta, Buffalo, Uvalde. And for the shootings that happen every day in the streets that are mass shootings that we don't even hear about. The number of people killed every day in the streets. Their message to us was do something. I don't know how many times have you heard that? Just do something. For God's sake, just do something. Well, today, we did. While well, this bill doesn't do everything I want, it does include actions I've long called for that are going to save lives. It funds crisis intervention, including red flag laws. It keeps guns out of the hands of people who are a danger to themselves and to others. And it finally closes what is known as the boyfriend loophole. So if you assault your boyfriend or girlfriend, you can't buy a gun or own a gun. It requires young people aged 18 to 21 to undergo enhanced background checks. It includes the first ever federal law that makes gun trafficking and straw purchases distinct federal crimes for the first time. It clarifies who needs to register as a federally licensed gun dealer and run background checks before selling a single weapon. You know, this is also provides historic funding to address youth mental health crisis in this country, especially, especially the trauma experienced by the survivors of this gun violence. Look, uh, you know, uh, it invests in anti-violence programs that work, that work directly with the people who are most likely to commit these crimes or become victims of gun crimes. Today, we say more than enough. We say more than enough. It's time when it seems impossible to get anything done in Washington. We are doing something consequential. If we can reach compromise on guns, we ought to be able to reach compromise on other critical issues from veterans' health care to cutting-edge American innovation and so much more. I know there's much more work to do, and I'm never going to give up. But this is a monumental day. God bless us with the strength to continue to work to get the work that's left undone, done, and the lives lost that can't be saved, that, that are obviously gone, but will be an inspiration for us to do more. I'm not going to sign this bill into law. And there you have it, President Joe Biden sitting down to sign into law the bipartisan gun safety bill. It is called the Safe Communities Act, historic legislation happening right now as we speak. This is the first in many, many years, long awaited by many lawmakers and the public. You see President Biden just signed the bill there.
He is uh, about to hold it up so all can see. But this uh, moved somewhat quickly after the mass shootings in Uvalde, Texas, at that elementary school, and also at the grocery store in Buffalo, New York. Let's listen in again to President Biden here. I think the Supreme Court has made some terrible decisions. Thank you. These decisions were made by the Supreme Court. And there you can hear President Biden referencing the Supreme Court decision of Roe v. Wade that has been a topic we have been talking about nonstop this morning.